Hi, I'm Danielle Gandhi from Commercial UAV News, and today I am joined by Fred Bedard, Manager of Business Development at Comaris. Hi, how's it going today? Very good. Can you tell me a little bit uh, about Comaris and how it got started? Sure. So Comaris is a brand. Uh, our company is Terrafugia Incorporated. Uh, the company back in January was the first company in the U.S. to design, develop, and have an FAA certification for a flying car. And we've changed that model, uh, and now we're into the UAV business on the commercial side. So we're taking all that aviation experience, aircraft design, FAA-approved manufacturing facility, and we're turning that in and leveraging it into commercial drones. That's really fantastic. Can you tell me a little bit about the Seeker and what differentiates this from other VTOLs? All right, first of all, it's the, the most beautiful uh, UAV out there. It certainly is beautiful. But more importantly, uh, its range. It can stay aloft uh, three plus hours. It can lift up to 10 pounds of payload. Uh, it also has a capability of going as high as 16,000 feet. Uh, it also is very fast. So 62 miles an hour is its top speed. So, so those are some of the real, real strong capabilities. The other one in certain applications is really important. It's extremely quiet. So at 500 feet AGL, it will be approximately 40 dBs, which is about the noise I'm making right now. So it, uh, for surveillance and security applications. Also, if you're flying in e urban areas, a helicopter is very, very noisy. This is no way near, way lower than a helicopter. So one of the issues with helicopter use is, is the noise, quite frankly. So being quiet, being fast, carry a lot of weight um, is really the, the strong characteristics of this UAV. Absolutely, and I saw you at the outdoor flying demos, and I can attest that it is very quiet, <laughs> and it was very great. And I know you're, you're focusing on the security applications, but in consumer side, when having this over somebody's home, I can just imagine that's going to make a huge difference in how people feel about having drones in their backyard. Oh, oh absolutely. And in our helicopters, I'll tell you that uh, in Long Island, um, you can't fly a helicopter over a power line, and they have to do it every week. Uh, without people calling their local congressman or senator or so forth. They just don't want the noise. So flying this to do the same job is, you know, and a lot less expensive and a lot quieter is, is really what I think the market's looking for right now. And what are some of the applications that you're kind of focusing on for, for this particular model? So right now is anything we'll, I, I call long haul. So uh, power lines of 100 miles, pipeline rail lines, those are some of the key ones. Agriculture, so we can put a multi-spectral camera on this and fly hundreds of acres of farmland to get the analysis and stay up for three hours. There's nothing else out there doing that kind of work. And again, when you look at rotorcraft design, I mean, they can lift and they can hover in one spot, but they, they, their battery life is only about an hour, 45 minutes. We're talking three hours at these great speeds. So, but they are using rotorcraft to do some of this work. So I see us offsetting some of the rotorcraft applications, like I mentioned with a helicopter, but even the rotorcraft drones. Basically, this thing would be able to do a much more efficient and quicker job uh, taking some of those rolls over. Absolutely, and when you are looking at the infrastructure bill that's coming out, um, I can only imagine the applications that are going to be able to be uh, utilized for a drone like this that can really start taking uh, time and speed into consideration. Yeah, you, when you talk about some of those like construction, survey, mapping, those, those areas. Also an extension of agriculture is forestry. So in, within the forestry, it's uh, fire. So all the, fire, the forest fires we're having, putting a set of eyes instead of a helicopter where, and you've seen helicopter accidents and so forth happen, you can, you can basically fly this into those situations. And also, you can, high, you can fly them high enough with the right cameras on it to see down into the forest. So it saves human life, it does a quicker job, and it costs less money. That's really incredible. So I'm gonna ask you for your final question. Uh, how's it going here at Com Commercial UAV Expo? It's been going awesome. To be honest with you, we. This is our first appearance. 
for this product. And we signed up to do the demonstration, as you mentioned. So we, we had a lot of angst, if you will. The demo went well. The people that saw the demo have been coming by all week. Uh, it's been excellent. The feedback has been great. And I think the audience is a lot larger than we expected, to be honest with you. So it's so far, it's been awesome. And I just signed up for next year, by the way. Fantastic. I can't wait to see you in 2022 then. Thank you so much for speaking with me today.